Hi everybody, I'm Brian Bemmel. I'm the artistic director and the founder of the Ojai Storytelling Festival. For 18 years, this, this festival has been delighting audiences of all ages with stories told by the greatest purveyors of the art in the world. As I'm sitting here in Libby Bowl, it's really quiet, but in a short time, this amphitheater is going to come alive with stories, music, poetry, and even mine. Some of the highlights of the festival coming up are uh, Laughing Night, which is a comedy night with all the storytellers. Uh, stories called Tales of Mystery and Suspense, which is uh, just for Halloween, and it's gonna feature all the tellers. Naughty Tales, just for adults. Uh, there are programs just for kids and for students. And there are workshops for people that want to learn more about the art of storytelling. And our newest event is called Raw Tales, and it features Winners of the Moth from Los Angeles. So as you can tell from my descriptions of the programs coming up, there's really something for everyone at the Ojai Storytelling Festival. But you're probably wondering who's coming to the festival. So here's the, the lineup and a brief description of each of the tellers. So we have Diane Ferlat, who will be our MC and also a featured teller. Diane is uh, the winner of the prestigious award of the Circle of Excellence, which is the uh, highest honor in storytelling. And she tells stories from the African-American tradition and combines them with music, sign language, and humor. So. Uh, uh, we're really happy to have Diane back with us. And then we have Kevin Kling. Uh, Kevin is a, a playwright, a humorist, and wonderful storyteller. And he comes from Minnesota. He's kind of a cross between Garrison Keillor's homespun humor and the Midwestern quirkiness of the Coen Brothers movie, Fargo. He'll have you laughing one minute, crying the next. And then we have Scott Ainsley, who's a fantastic blues musician and uh, blues historian. And he'll be sharing music and stories of some of the great blues artists. We also have Claire Murphy. She'll be flying in from Ireland. Claire tells traditional tales, but she puts a modern twist on all the tales. And uh, her stories are filled with leprechauns, pots of gold, giants, all kinds of wonderful folklore from Ireland and she's totally engaging in every way you can think of. And then we have Willie Claflin. Um, Willie is famous for his stories told with his uh, best sidekick, Maynard the Moose. Maynard's a puppet and Willie's invented the whole language for Maynard and he tells kind of fractured fairy tales. Then we have Glennis Redman, who's a poet and uh, her poems are stories and they're very moving and one of the exciting things is she'll be working with Scott Ainsley who will be playing music and it'll so be a combination of music and poetry all together and finally we have the chameleons and they're a uh, husband and wife mime duo and they have some special programs just for Halloween that they'll be presenting at the festival they speak a little bit but their stories are told just through mime and movement and music. One of the hardest things uh, to really get across to people is just how entertaining the festival is. So one of our attendees described the festival this way. He says, the Ojai Storytelling Festival was an eye-opening experience. I had no idea there were so many talented people who could thoroughly captivate an audience. The festival has to be experienced to be believed. A friend could rave to you about how entertaining the event was, but actually, the experience can't be conveyed. It's like trying to describe the smell of a flower. We hope you'll come to the festival. It's uh, October 25th through the 28th. You're going to hear stories with unforgettable characters, hilarious tales that will have you laughing out loud. You'll hear 
stories of adventure and drama and there'll be lots of music that will raise the spirit. You can purchase tickets right now online at ohistoryfest.org and we look forward to seeing you at the festival. As we say, you won't believe what you're going to hear. It's not just a festival, it's an experience.